90% silver, how do you add it all up? This is a revolutionary mathematical and intuitive breakthrough. What's up you guys, it's Ocean here. Welcome to Silver Oceans. I genuinely treasure you guys checking out my YouTube channel. If you'd like to absorb more knowledge regarding collecting and stacking precious metals, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's crack into it. 90% junk silver constitutional silver coins have very odd actual silver weights. I'm talking about all US dimes, quarters, and half dollars minted in 1964 or earlier. Many of my subscribers have asked me in the comments, how do you add up all your 90% silver coinage to figure out what you actually have? Well, I've come up with a really cool method that's also very intuitive, so it's easy to remember. And that's the key to this. We want something that works. It's a logical process that you're not going to forget. We've always had to memorize bizarre numbers to add up our 90% until now. ASW is a common term silver stackers use. It stands for actual silver weight. The ASW for a silver dime is 0 0.07232 troy ounces. It's 0 0.1808 for silver quarter and it's 0 0.3616 for a half dollar. Who's gonna remember all that? Although many of us actually do, there's a much simpler method that will ensure you're not left stranded. And we're also gonna go and carry this through to calculate premiums at the end. The next time someone asks you if you can determine the actual silver weight of 90% silver coins, you'll say, oh, my constitutional silver or my George Washington bullion. Now, 90% silver isn't technically considered bullion, but we're calling it our George Washington bullion or GWB. Here's how it works. And by the way, my local coin shop dealers went crazy over this. They think I'm really onto something here. What's cool is our 90% silver, our constitutional silver breaks down proportionally by face value in actual silver weight. So five dimes have the same actual silver weight as a half dollar and two quarters have the same actual silver weight as a half dollar. No matter how you make 50 cents or any amount, you can use any 90% US silver coins and you can be certain they were minted with a proportional amount of silver. This is our George Washington bullion here, or GWB. These letters were translated from numbers and that's the key to why this works. The easiest way to think about this is to consider the actual silver weight of $1 face value of 90% silver. $1 also makes this the easiest math and that's why I use it. The actual silver weight of $1 face value is 0.7232. Alphabetically, that's GWB, and that's why we call it our George Washington Bullion. The two middle numbers are grouped together, which is symmetrical, so that's easy to remember. G is the seventh letter in the alphabet, W is the 23rd, and B is the second. So what we do is multiply the face value by the GWB. This gives us our ASW actual silver weight. Then we can take the ASW and multiply by spot price and we have our melt value for our coins. It's that easy. Just multiply face times GWB times spot. For example, let's say we have $19.15 in junk silver. So we'll multiply that by the GWB and it comes out to about $13.85 times spot price. We'll say is 2662. That's about $368.67. Now we have our melt value. Let's look at a real life example involving premiums. A $10 face value roll of 90% silver Washington quarters is $243.19. The GWB times $10 face is 7.232. That's the amount of silver in a roll of quarters. We'll take that weight and multiply by spot price. That's about $192.52. Now we have our melt value. 
If we subtract $192.52 from $243.19, we get a premium of $50.67. For a premium by percentage, we will divide the sell price by the melt value, and we get 1.26. The 1 represents paying the full melt value, and the 0.26 is the premium, so it's a 26% premium, which is very high for 90%. I wouldn't buy this. For times face value prices, we'll divide the sale price by the face value, and we get 24.319. So a roll is 24.319 times face. So if someone is selling you junk silver for 21 times face, you can still use the GWB method. $10 face is the lot, that's $210. So that's the sale price. In this case, let's say the melt value is still $192.52. 210 divided by 192.52 is 1.09, so a 9% premium, and that's a lot more reasonable. I know I use the term junk silver. It's really not junk. Constitutional silver has become a more popular term for 90% in recent years. But I learned from old timers 11 years ago when I first got more focused on stacking. Is the George Washington Bullion GWB a revolutionary method and will you be using it? Let me know in the comments. We've reached the time to do a couple giveaways. The first one is for a gold dose pesos coin. The video had the keyword awesome. We have that typed in. Extracting comments. 166 unique commenters. Lusalsi Hart, congratulations, you won the gold. The comment says, Oceans, you're an awesome dude. Keep up the great work. My favorite gold has to be the pre-33 US $20 Eagles. Awesome. Thank you. Now, I had a couple subscribers hint at a secret GA opportunity, so I did just that. My last video had a secret GA for a silver SD bullion freedom round. Get that link in there. The keyword for this one was incredible. Look set. We'll pull the comments. Okay, 79 unique. Let's go. B squared constitutional, congrats. Says it's incredible to me that people believe the Federal Reserve when they say the inflation is only temporary. Hey, thank you. Congrats to the winners. Hey, you guys are amazing. If you're watching this video to the very end and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your viewership and following my journey. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stack wide as the ocean.